Have you ever wondered how to take creatine daily? It's a question that buzzes in the minds of fitness enthusiasts across the globe. This tiny yet powerful compound, creatine, has gained a reputation as a game changer in the world of fitness and bodybuilding. It's been hailed for its potential to boost muscle strength, enhance performance, and speed up recovery times. But with all this buzz, there's a common curiosity that often goes unaddressed. How exactly do you incorporate creatine into your daily routine? It's not as simple as just tossing a spoonful into your protein shake and calling it a day. There are considerations about timing, dosage, and even the way you mix it. The world of creatine can seem complex but fear not. We're here to guide you through this labyrinth of information so buckle up and get ready to take notes. Well today we break down the process step by step. Before diving into the how, let's understand the what. What exactly is creatine? Creatine, in its simplest form, is a substance that's naturally found in muscle cells. It's a non-essential dietary compound that helps your muscle cells produce energy during heavy lifting or high-intensity exercise. This is why you'll often hear it being mentioned in the same breath as weight training and bodybuilding. But creatine isn't just for those looking to bulk up. It's also beneficial for a variety of athletic endeavors, from sprinting to soccer. It's all about energy production. Creatine works by aiding in the regeneration of ATP or adenosine triphosphate, which is the main source of energy for muscle contractions. And here's a fun fact, our bodies actually produce creatine. That's right, it's not just something we get from supplements or food. The liver and kidneys usually produce about half of the creatine our bodies need daily, with the rest coming from our diet, particularly from protein-rich foods like meat and fish. Now, why is creatine so popular among bodybuilders and athletes? Well, besides its role in energy production, creatine supplementation has been linked to a host of benefits. It can help increase muscle mass, improve strength, and enhance exercise performance. It's also been associated with improving brain health and reducing muscle loss during aging. It's important to note, however, that while creatine is generally considered safe, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. So, creatine, in a nutshell, is a natural substance that plays a crucial role in energy production in our muscles. It's a favorite among those looking to enhance their physical performance, whether that's lifting heavier weights, running faster, or jumping higher. Understanding its role in our bodies can help us make the most of it. Our next scene will dive into the ideal dosage of creatine, so stay tuned. So, how much creatine should you take daily? This question is likely on the minds of many of you. Well, let's delve into that. The general consensus among experts is that a daily dose of 3 to 5 grams is optimal for most individuals. This dosage is sufficient to saturate the muscles with creatine over time, providing the desired benefits such as increased strength, improved muscle recovery, and enhanced athletic performance. Now you might be asking, can't I just take more to speed up the process? Well, this is where the concept of a loading phase comes in. Some individuals opt for a loading phase where they take a higher dose, often around 20 grams split into four daily doses for about five to seven days. This is followed by the standard daily dosage of three to five grams. The idea is to saturate the muscles with creatine more quickly. However, it's important to note that while the loading phase may speed up the process, it's not a necessity. In fact, simply taking the recommended daily dose consistently over a longer period will also lead to full creatine saturation in the muscles. It's a classic case of the tortoise and the hare. You can sprint to the finish line or take it slow and steady. Either way, you'll reach the same end goal. But here's a crucial point to remember. Consistency is key. Whether you opt for a loading phase or not, it's important to take your creatine daily to maintain creatine saturation in your muscles. Missing doses can hinder your progress and diminish the effectiveness of creatine. And let's not forget, more isn't always better when it comes to creatine. Taking doses larger than recommended doesn't necessarily offer additional benefits and could potentially lead to side effects such as stomach discomfort. So there you have it, a daily dose of 3 to 5 grams of creatine, consistency in consumption, and an understanding of the optional loading phase. These are the key points to remember when incorporating creatine into your daily routine. Remember, more is not always better. Stick to the recommended daily dose. Now that we know the how much, let's talk about the when. Timing, as they say, is everything. And with creatine, it's no different. The question, when is the best time to take creatine, is one we hear quite often. The answer, however, isn't as cut and dry as you might think. You see, 
Creatine is not like a pre-workout supplement that gives you a quick energy boost. It's a supplement that works over time to increase your muscles' stores of creatine phosphate, which is used for high-intensity exercise, so, theoretically, you could take it at any time of the day and still reap the benefits. But let's dive a bit deeper. Some argue that taking creatine pre-workout is the way to go. The idea here is that you load up your muscles with creatine before hitting the weights, giving you a bit more energy to push through those last few reps. On the flip side, some say that post-workout is the prime time for creatine consumption. After a strenuous workout, your muscles are like sponges, ready to soak up nutrients. Taking creatine at this time could mean more gets absorbed into your muscles, helping them recover and grow. Then, there's the question of non-workout days. Should you still take creatine? The answer is yes. Creatine levels in your muscles decline over time so taking it on non-workout days helps maintain those levels and ensure you're ready for your next workout. So, pre-workout or post-workout? Morning or night? On workout days or non-workout days? The truth is, there's no definitive answer. Studies have shown benefits to all of these strategies. The key is consistency. As long as you're taking your daily dose of creatine, you're on the right track. You might need to experiment a bit to find what works best for you. Maybe you'll find you prefer taking it in the morning, or perhaps you'll discover that post-workout is your sweet spot. In the end, it's about what works best for your body and your schedule. So, you have your creatine, and you know when to take it. But how do you consume it? Well, that's what we're going to explore now. Consuming creatine isn't a complicated process, but there are a few things that you should keep in mind. Firstly, the medium in which you take your creatine can play a role in how easily it dissolves. Many people opt for simply mixing it with water. The taste is fairly neutral, and it's easy to prepare. Just add your creatine to a glass of water, stir it until it dissolves, and drink up. But what if you're not a fan of the taste or want to add a bit of variety? No worries, you can mix your creatine with juice or even blend it into a smoothie. The fruit sugars in the juice can even help with absorption, getting that creatine into your muscles faster. Keep in mind though that creatine isn't heat stable, so avoid adding it to hot beverages or cooking with it. You want to make sure you're getting the full benefits of your supplement, and heat can degrade the creatine, reducing its effectiveness. Now here's a crucial point. Hydration. Creatine works by pulling water into your muscles, boosting their size and strength. This means that when you're taking creatine, you need to drink even more water than usual to stay hydrated. Don't skip this step. Dehydration can not only reduce the effects of the creatine, but it can also lead to muscle cramps and other unpleasant side effects. So make sure you're getting at least an extra couple of glasses of water each day when you're on creatine. In essence, taking creatine is a simple process. Mix it with your liquid of choice, drink it, and follow up with plenty of water. But remember, everyone's body is different. What works best for one person might not work as well for another. So feel free to experiment with different methods until you find what works best for you. Creatine is versatile and can be taken in ways that suit your taste and convenience. So go ahead, find your perfect creatine cocktail, and start enjoying the benefits today. So there you have it, your guide to taking creatine daily. We've walked through the creatine basics, understanding its role in enhancing strength and muscle mass. We dove into the daily dosage, emphasizing the importance of a loading phase followed by a maintenance phase. We underlined the significance of timing, suggesting post-workout as the optimal time for creatine intake. We also covered how to mix and consume creatine effectively, revealing that it can be taken with a variety of liquids even in your protein shake. But remember, consistency is key. Make it a part of your routine and listen to your body. Every individual responds differently, so adjust your dosage as needed. And that's a wrap. If you're on your journey to fitness, remember you're not alone. We're here to guide you every step of the way. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the Enso Nation YouTube channel for more tips and tricks in your fitness journey.